feels again like we're back in at the Wilton house, which is a, this big house we used to all live in. And we had uh, the garage in the backyard with lots of carpet that we stole from the garbages of the neighborhood and egg, egg cartons to soundproof. It feels just like that again. We're in that studio, we're working out material. Open the door, oh, and there's the cops. Yeah, well, it's it's really it's it's fun. It's like this, um, you know. You see people they go to Disneyland, right? And they enjoy the rides. I have friends that still go to Disneyland, and they just love it. But imagine going to Disneyland. You love Disneyland, but now you've got children, so it's almost a. It, it sparks new, new, a new joy, a new, you know, it's almost like you're rediscovering it or discovering it, looking at it from a, a new, fresh perspective that of as a parent. So I feel the same way when we're at Lollapalooza and you see the, these new young musicians and their slant on the world, uh, for, you know, for, for the good or for or for the worse or for the, you know, I, I would just say this. This comes from the, the greatest sages. I've been taught that it is it is the duty it is the mission of every generation to turn over the world. And so I'm watching it happen in real time. I'm watching the young musicians turn the world over. And uh, as, a, as an old anarchist, I dig it. Chaos, chaos, it's beautiful. Well, I would say that being young forever and like, I just don't see that as a, as a thing, as a goal, like I understand the idea of having some energy and staying involved in your life as being a goal for sure as you get older. But I enjoy being an older guy. I, I don't want to be young forever, you know? I, I, uh, I'm enjoying my life now so much more than I enjoyed my life when I was 20. And I'm enjoying music and my career so much more now than I did back then, you know? And uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah, I, I need no antidote, you know. Well, for me, if, if there's anything, if we want to talk about eternity, we've got it. It's in the music. If we, you know, the music that we make, I would like to, I would like to believe that it, it is eternal. And that, you know, people have said that about us, is that, man, this, this song still, ha they still hold up. So if there's any sense of eternity, it's in those songs. And I will also tell you that now uh, in my golden years, I know for a fact that music is the fountain of youth because I have never been in such good shape. And of course, I have to take care of myself a lot more, but modern medicine, um, you know, modern psychology, mo modern everything will keep us, will keep us youthful for a lot longer than, you know, back when we were coming up. There was, a, there was everything to destroy yourself back in those days. And now, I mean, as an example, last night, I was sleeping on an infrared, uh, uh, he, a heater was like a little, what do you call it, blanket, but it was, it was infrared, an infrared heating blanket that helps your joints. And then I had this stimulator, I put electrodes on my neck and my back that took away the lower back pain and neck pain that I usually experience. So there's all these 
new fangled little tools and weapons that we have now to fight off age. And, uh, and I try every single damn one of them. <laughs>